Notifications allow your application to interact with the user even when your application is not running. This mobile code snippet makes use of the T Notification Center component in order to send and schedule notifications that will appear to the user. A notification is scheduled by first checking with Notification Center to see if notifications are supported on the actual platform we're currently on. Then we construct a new notification of type T notification by calling the create notification method. We give the notification a name which we use to identify it later and an alert body which is what is displayed to the user. To schedule a notification we give it a fire date, in this case 10 seconds in the future, and then we call schedule notification passing in the new notification we created. Because the notification has now been handed off to the operating system, we can dispose of the notification to free the memory. To send the notification immediately, the code is exactly the same except the fire date is set to now or except the fire date is set to now. There's two other buttons on this form. Down at the bottom here, we can cancel scheduled notifications by first checking to see if notifications are supported and then canceling a notification by name. This is why it's useful to give notifications unique names so you can cancel some notifications and not others. If you do want to cancel all notifications though, you can use the cancel all notifications. You can use the cancel all method. This application runs almost exactly This app runs the same on both iOS and Android. So let's go ahead and take a look at it on iOS. So here's the app running on my iPad. Swipe down from the top, here's the notification center. This is where all the notifications will appear. And we're going to go ahead and send a notification immediately. Which shows up in the notification center. I can clear it from here or I can use the cancel all notifications button here and go back and the notification's gone. What's more interesting is I can schedule the notification, close the app, dismiss it from memory, wait a couple seconds, and then it appears. Go back into the notification center, I can then tap the notification and it launches my app again. This is a great way to bring your users back into your app, especially if it's you're letting them know of an event that has occurred. That notification is still in the notification center, and I can cancel it by ca tapping cancel scheduled notification. And it's gone. If I tap send scheduled notification and then cancel it, it will never appear. To find this and other mobile code snippets, visit Embarcadero.com slash snippets.